Hey, Cameron McKenzie here, Editor-in-Chief of TheServerSide.com, and I wanted to quickly show you how to ignore folders in Git. Now you can see I've got a GitHub repository here, Adam Baker Carroll, and I've got that cloned over here, Adam Baker Carroll, on my local file system. And you know, it's not too unusual that somebody might want to add a folder to their project. So over here, I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to create a folder called Walmart. Hopefully they don't sue me for copyright. And I'm going to create a, just put a, a new file in there, and I'll just call it Git Keep just so that the file will actually get integrated with version control. And then over here in my git bash shell, I'm just gonna say git add git commit dash m and then git push origin, just to show you that that folder, you know, if you just leave your enterprise system alone, well, it's gonna get pushed up to your GitHub or GitLab repository. There it is with that git keep file in there. So the question is, well, what do you do if you don't want folders to be pushed up, if you want Git to ignore them? So for example, well, we've got our Walmart folder, um, but when you run a Maven build, it creates a special folder called target. And uh, maybe we don't want to push the target folder up. In fact, we never want to push the target folder up. Uh, the target folder has build artifacts and you never put build artifacts in your source code repository. Maybe in your artifact repository, but not your source code repository. So let's uh, say we've got this new folder that we don't want pushed up. How do we stop Git from doing that? Well, the first trick is to create a file named git ignore. So I'm going to open my git bash shell inside the root of the git repository, git branch examples, and I'm going to create a file named git ignore just by using the touch command. I just find it's an easy way to create the dot git ignore file. If you can do it by creating a new, you know, text document, but if Windows puts a .txt extension on it, it's not going to work. So I just like doing that little touch command there rather than doing it from the Windows Explorer or the GUI. But the bottom line is you need a file named git ignore. And in this git ignore file, you specify the names of the files that you want git to ignore. That's the name, git ignore. Now here, I don't want to push anything in that target folder up to the server. So I just type target slash. And I click Control S and notice that there are resources in there. Another git keep file is in that target folder, just like Walmart. But we've specified, hey, we don't want that target folder to be added to the git repository on commits or pushes. So right now I'm going to do a git status command. And you notice when you do the git status command, it's actually ignored the target folder. It says you create a new file called git ignore, which we just did. We want to add that to the repository. But we also created a folder named uh, target and it's completely ignored that. And watch, if we do a git add and we do a git commit, and now we do a git push origin, what do you think is going to happen? Well, the push happens because we did have a, a new file named git ignore, but watch, I'm going to come over here, do a refresh, and boom, we've got that git ignore file, but the git ignore file does say don't upload any folders that start with the name target, and indeed, we don't have any target folders. The Walmart folder is still there because it's not referenced in the git ignore, but that target folder, it's not pushed up and it's not part of any git commits. And so there you go. That is how you get git to ignore folders and directories. You use that dot git ignore file. You specify the name of the directory and then put a little slash after the name. You can also use wildcards there to kind of do some global entries as well. Lots of great features that you can use to, to work with git ignore. But anyways, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on git, github, GitLab, DevOps tools in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And if you enjoyed this uh, quick to the point and fairly brief tutorial, which I try to do, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?